on this truth this evening, as is our tradition here at Church of the Trinity, we are surrounded by light. And tonight, as many of you know, is the first night of Hanukkah. And so we wish our sisters, our Jewish sisters and brothers, a very blessed festival of lights. Let's go to God as we open with prayer. God of this holiest of nights, we hear a story that we know very well. A story that on its surface is ordinary a baby born. But a story that is filled with miracles. God, how we need to be reminded that you still work miracles in our lives and in this broken world. God, how we need in this moment, now more than ever, for hope to be born again in us. How we need to be reminded of a story, God, of you stepping into human history in a form of flesh, the form of a child, to show us what love looks like. God, you work miracles through ordinary people who simply say, yes, yes, God, be it unto me according to your word, be it unto me according to your will. God, so tonight, hear our hearts <coughs> whispering and singing and shouting our sacred yes to you. Enter our hearts, O oh God, and bring birth new life. God, may we see you. May we know you this Christmas. May our lives be forever changed by your miraculous love. And may we become part of your miraculous salvation in this world, now and always. Amen. What child is this? What child is this? Born without a birth certificate? <laughs> Young parents, what child is this? Born to a family who will soon be running for their very lives. What child is this? Refugees in search of safety for their newborn. What child is this? A child like migrant children today, all over the world. Children and families who are stateless, without documentation of status. What child is this? Born into a broken and troubled kind of world. What child is this? Maybe a child like the young girl, Anna, about them, tweeting from her home, her war-torn home in Syria, Aleppo. What child is this? Anna calls herself a creature for peace. What child is this? Like our own children, Trayvon Martin, 17 years old, shot in Santa Florida, or Tyree King, 13 years old, shot by police in Columbus, Ohio. What child is this? A child born in a stable. The Bible says there, were, there was no room for this child. What child is this? A child that we call Prince of Peace, our Savior. A child that we call Light to the World. Notice this about the Christmas story. And this always happens.
happens in the scripture, I don't know why, it's the unlikely people in the Bible who are all, always the witnesses. Think about it, shepherds working the fields, people from other faiths, the wise men. They are the ones there to celebrate the birth of this Jesus. And it was those people without this rank and great status, the great leaders of the time, Herod and the authorities, who completely missed the birth. Making Christmas known. Marcus Moore, the New Testament scholar, says this quote, May our eyes be opened to see again for the first time the power of the Incarnation for us and for the world. The message this Christmas Eve is very clear and it's very simple. In Jesus Christ, God comes to us. To our troubled and violent world, God comes. And so tonight I want to preach a message of hope. And I want to talk about a message of peace. Making Christmas known. Because God's presence is not far from us tonight. God's presence is close and accessible to your heart and to mine. To excluded people. To marginalized people. To women and shepherds. To foreigners. To migrants. Christmas is a great love story that says our God is a God of justice and inclusion. Can we see it? Can we make it known? The prophet Isaiah calls us to see a light shining in the darkest places. The psalmist sings, inviting all of creation to bear witness to God's glory, to recognize God's coming in justice and righteousness. The Apostle Paul, writing much later, encourages his followers to see God's grace coming into the world. Can we see? Because of God's coming, and our eyes and our hearts are closed. If we can't see it or we can't put ourselves in this story, then this Christmas means nothing. But if we can hear the invitation written by prophets and leaders throughout the Bible, then we can make Christmas known. God's coming into every moment and place. God's coming into the world as this day be born, Jesus Christ. Think about all, all the unknowns before us in the coming year 2017. We need to be clear off. Amen. I mean, to be focused. We need to be like this Jesus who risked it all to speak truth to power. We need to hear the voices of angels saying, Be not afraid. There is hope for us tonight in this age. Hope in unlikely and unexpected places. There is hope in this child. God's coming into the world. Make it known. When we speak the truth, our truth, we're lacked in our own way in this world. When we reach beyond ourselves and work with our sisters and brothers in Africa, like the New Emerging Church Partnership, which begins in the new year, with MCC and Kampala, Uganda, then we make Christ known. When we reach outside of our comfort zones and we begin a dialogue on what unites us rather than what divides us. Like our partnership with the Islamic Society of Sarasota Bradenton just down the street. Then we become 
a light in this dark world. When we have intentional conversations about racism in America and our church, we spread light. We make Christmas known in those ways. When we know, beloved, tonight that our work is far from over, that God still has a call on us as a place of justice seeking, theologically progressive Christian church speaking to the 21st century needs, then we are part of God's work. A light to the world. A light to the nation. A light in our hearts. A light that no darkness or fear or hatred could ever overcome. The love that we can make this Christmas known. When we begin to see those places in our own lives that resist God's desire to come in. When we slow down and we find ourselves awake and aware of God's presence and purpose. And we find new ways to express, express compassion and humility and simplicity and joy. Then we are born to do. We make this Christmas known. When we find ourselves becoming more whole and authentic, in spite of the struggles around us, we make Christmas known by letting go of old ways the past, habits, the things that tear down our relationships. When we see the eyes of God in the faces of our sisters and brothers, then we begin to welcome truly the Christ child into our lives. But this mystery, this sacred mystery of the Incarnation, God become flesh, God coming to earth as a child, what it says is not just that Christ came to get us to heaven, to some kind of eternal glory, but that Christ came to bring a little bit of heaven to us, amen, a little bit of justice, a little bit of peace. A little bit of hope, a little bit of heaven comes down to earth. We make Christmas known when we become in our own ways and our hands and feet the very body of Christ in our world and our time. When we work for justice and equality, when we don't allow the darkness to overwhelm our lives, when we place our hope and trust in the story of a child born, when we become more Christ-like, we bring a little bit of heaven down into our lives, making Christmas known. God's gift to us this season is to call an unlikely group of people, you and I, ordinary people. The scripture says peculiar people. You and me, to be part of God's extraordinary purpose and plan. As I was concluding my sermon, I thought that this poem, one of my favorite readings at Christmas time, is so appropriate to conclude with, and I want to share it with you tonight. It's entitled The First Coming, in a book called The Ordering of Love by Madeline Lindell. She writes, God did not wait till the world was ready, till people and nations were at peace. God came when the heavy heavens were unsettled and prisoners cried out for release. God did not wait for the perfect time, for God came when the need was deep and great. Dying with sinners in all their grind, turning the water into wine. God did not wait till hearts were pure. In joy, Christ came to a tarnished world of sin and doubt, to a world like ours, of anguished shame. Christ came, and the light would not. God came 
came for a world which did not bless. To heal his tables, to shield his sword. In the mystery of the word become flesh. The maker of the stars was born. And so we cannot wait. Till the world is saved. To raise our songs with joyful voice. Or to share our grief, to touch our pain. Jesus Christ came with love. Rejoice. Rejoice. Merry Christmas, Church of